Hello, welcome to Dev Coming Short. Okay, today we're going to take a break from hardware to software. And we're going to the world of Windows software development. So today I'm going to talk about tools called uh, Dev Toys. Now, Dev Toys is actually a set of utilities written by employee by Microsoft uh, <coughs> that actually make it convenient for you to do software development uh, for us, right? Software are on Windows because uh, Windows are known to not have a lot of tools like Unix. But that being said, this suite of tools had some of the tools that is not actually available on Linux. Uh, but yeah, so to install this is pretty easy. You can download it directly. You can download it through Microsoft Store. Or you can use Chocolatey. And more importantly, this is actually open source, meaning you can actually use this to, uh, you can actually see the source code. This is written in C-sharp, probably. Yeah, I think it's in C-sharp. Also, either way, uh, not that important. Let's go straight to the tools. So, as you can see, there is a lot of conversion tools here. You got the encoder decoder tools, uh, escaping tools, gzip gzip is very, uh, very very common with that. Hash generator we have that on Linux as well, but you know if you need it you need it. Uh, then various decoder image converter, uh, which we traditionally use image magic for it. Then yeah, uh, then text case. So let's choose a few that is surprisingly convenient. So. For example, Unix times code converter. Uh, we offer. I used to have to do this all the time because, uh, in some database, uh, information are stored are stored on timestamp instead of uh, date time. Uh, so I have to convert it. So this is actually interestingly convenient for me. Uh, and oh, let me go back. I forget to show. Yep. Then let's say you want to get something like on 31st, right? Then I will convert the date, then you just copy over. Lah. You just copy over and get the value. Very convenient. Another thing that's recently convenient for me is UR encoding. Because recently I have this file, they have space. And unfortunately, the file is on AWS. Then when we download it, uh, we need to do conversion and already converted to a uh, space converted. So this is. Uh, for the test case, so I have to do something like let's say space for us. Ta -da! Then you notice that the output here is converted. Then space monkey again converted. Let's say something do try something funny again. Same thing. So notice that it's actually converted and actually make life easy to write test cases. Then ta -da! Then you have basic encoder, GZ. We have that on Linux, but I don't have this. Get a pretty converter is very interesting. I don't use it now, but I can foresee in the future I might use it. So this is the value I actually copied directly from jwt.io and it converted it just nicely, which is awesome. So other so as they even have an SQL formatter. I have something already probably. So let's just select all from table. From no, oh, don't use table. Table is the uh, user table, right? Uh, select uh, ID species planet from centers where planet not from. Yeah. Uh, in not not equals to earth right so yeah see you convert it very nicely a uh, very useful if you have a complicated uh sql lah. then you have all the json formatters very nice to use then uid generator is interestingly are uh, useful for me. Uh, most database will do it for you, right? Most database will do it for you. But let's say you do want to 
let's say you do have a database to support it, then you can just generate this law. You support UID 1, don't use this. Use UID 4. So it support both. Then it have uppercase and all that. Very nice to use. So yeah. Uh, we traditionally have to use Python for this. Then hash generator again. You can use Python for this. Uh, we have hash generator on Linux actually. So it's apple, orange, watermelon. Melon. All right. So yeah. Conversion to your ID, Larson generator. This is always nice to have. Very nice to have uh, for faking thing. Uh, content and whatnot. Then you can fake like words. No. Okay. So that's very random. That's. Hmm. So yeah. Uh, next tools that I'm going to show is. Uh, your ID hash. Of course, you can also do checksum generator on files. Uh, you can do markdown review. I already did that. So, very nice to have. Then you have escaping tools. Less of this nowadays, but let's say you have like, I am a human being slash r slash m slash m. So yeah, escaping tools. Uh, what else do we have? Regex tester. We used to have to open a damn website for it. Uh, now, not anymore. Not anymore, right? Just write your regex here and do your testing. Uh, we used to have to write Python. On command line, we had to use a Python script because it's easy to do. Uh, or use set to test it on so yeah, we can just set to test this, it will work. But on Windows, you do not have such utility. So yeah, you can use this. Then you have Markdown Preview, already show you that already. Uh, <coughs> text Comparer, I'm a human. Then I am an alien. So. Yeah, it's essentially diff. Uh, not as powerful as the Unix diff tools. If I compare a file, you can use this. It can even do diff on files. It's a standard algorithm nowadays. So yeah. Uh, so on 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 Unix on Linux, I will use diff or even vim diff for this. Uh, on Windows you don't have that, so you have that, which is why you have dev tools for this kind of thing. Yeah, then finally, uh, this thing that I don't usually get. So I loaded a file from Arduino uh, for this, but it's not very clear. Let's load something that is more obvious. I hope the traffic light photo works. I hope the traffic light photo works. If I can find it. Not here though. Okay, once you load image, it's actually very slow, which is annoying. Uh, let me try here instead download here you are open okay it will take a while uh, to simulate but the, here you can already okay let it load for a bit live demo Oh, this is actually my game. Interesting. So notice that uh, you can't see certain colors, so you can simulate pretty well. Actually, uh, the one I want to show is actually the traffic light. Where is the traffic light? Earlier today. Da -da -da. Oh, well, I'm going to open this. This is safe for work anyway. So again, my face, man, but you get the idea. You can simulate all the images around, right? Uh, what else? Okay, this is another one. So yeah, uh, the CNY deco, but this is clearer. So in a way that you can see what people can see with uh, different type of 
ab a color ability then you, of course you have the image converter to image and all that so yeah in sh uh, we used to uh, what we used last time on linux we use image magic for this uh so uh what's the conclusion there's no conclusion i just want to introduce to you these tools if you're on windows uh because on linux we already have all these tools where you already can easily generate uh basic default do checksum we can't do color blindness but it's part of the browser tools nowadays uh text escaping here to usually pull out a scripting language to do it uh we don't have we don't actually have a tools for this gz is obvious hash we have that a uh, HTML encoder, we don't have those. Uh, when I last check, uh, image converter, we use image magic. Uh, this is for text conversion, very nice. Then JSON formatter, we don't have those. We usually rely on uh, our IDE for that. Then converter, this is actually very nice to use. But I don't think, oh, that opened the wrong file. La la la. I don't have that, but JTP. So in short, uh, they have actually a few extra tools that Linux don't have, which is very cool. Uh, so our tools is very easy for us to do lah. Uh, so for example, number converter we just use programming language and all that. So that's it. Uh, yeah, if you develop on Windows exclusively, uh, DevToys is a tools that I recommend. But uh, let's say you are on WSL like me, then having these tools around is actually very convenient. Very convenient and it's pretty powerful. So I recommend you to keep it as well. So with that said, well, have fun. I hope these tools is useful for you and thanks for listening.